gonna put in the number in decimal, 9,850. We're gonna convert that to hexadecimal, and we're gonna search again. Okay, we're only down to one address, so when you get down to a couple of addresses, it's time to do some nitty gritty poking around. You can right click the address, and then manually hit poke. Later on we'll be using the memory viewer, pointer 1 and pointer 2, but for now we're gonna poke. And if you'll notice, it's at the previous value of 267C, so we're gonna go ahead and poke it. And there we go, it actually goes up. Bring it back down to A, there it goes. Fine and dandy. It goes to show that uh, now you can poke this specific memory address as a 32-bit value. So now that we can go to the GCT codes, we're gonna make a new code. And we're gonna name this code, if it lets me rename it, Starbits. And going to the US Echo's website, they actually have an in-detail tutorial on how to use, uh, or actually an explanation, I should say, it's not much of a tutorial, on different memory ranges, base addresses, pointers, registers, such and such and such. So, right now we're actually interested in locking a 32-bit uh, a 32-bit value at an address, at a base address. So, let's see, this is 16, no, we want 32. So, all right, so our prefix is going to be 0, 04, which means to write 32 bits into the RAM of the base address. All right, so we'll go back to the weird graphical interface, and I've actually already put together this code. Where did it go? I do believe it's this one. Give me one second. I'm just trying to copy and paste here. Here we go. Let me make sure that these are proper addresses. F6, 3C, F4, 36, and we're alright. Alright, so 04 is the prefix saying, as, uh, as stated, 04 is 32 bit RAM write at the base address, and we found the base address quite easily. And the base address being F6, 3C, F4, and we want to lock it to the value 270F, which should constitute as 9,999. Uh, 9 so we're going to add the code to the star bits, and then we're going to enable it. Hit enable, and we're going to apply the codes. Doesn't matter how many you use, it's this code is going to automatically lock this base address and fill it with a 32-bit value, nine, decimal 9,999, or hexadecimal 270F. So this is our first basic search. Alright, all fine and dandy, now we know how to find base addresses, but what about these elusive pointers that I was talking A different address for the same talking about. So we're just going to go ahead and fly to any random galaxy that we can start doing searches on pointers. Now, to get a pointer, we're going to have to load up two separate worlds, and we're going to have to find the same thing. So the easiest thing to look for is help. So we're going to go ahead and restart everything, reset all of the values, and we're going to start on Mario's health. And we want a 32-bit value for decimal 3, 32-bit 3, because we know he has 3 health right now. We're going to go ahead and do a quick search. Alright, so we're down to 5,707, and that's a bit, so we're going to lose a bit of health. And you can use the typical compares of equal, not equal, greater than, less than, but we know the value is at 2, so we're going to search again for 2. Alright, we're narrowed down to 6, but... I'm a stingy bastard, so let's try to get this down to a few less. Reduce the health by one, and search again. Now that's more like it. We're down to two addresses. Now we're going to go ahead and poke. We'll poke this first address, and every time we poke it, we notice that the life meter on the screen just jiggles, so that's obviously not it. We'll poke the other address, and we've got it. And we'll make this three, bring Mario's health back up to three. Verified that this that this ad this, this address for this world is Mario's health. But if we change worlds because of the way object-oriented programming works, it won't be the same for another world. So we need to find the pointer. So we're going to enter this address into pointer search one. And if you go, sorry, let me narrate. You right-click and you go to pointer one and go to the pointer search, and you'll notice that it'll enter in address one. Then go to the memory dump, and do one memory dump for this stage.
Alright, once the memory dump is done, I've noticed a small problem with the weird interface. You actually have to go and click File 1 and manually point it to the actual dump 180.bin. Now, we've manually found the address for Mario's health for this level, and we've entered that address into the pointer search. Now we we'll have to go off to another level so we can find the alternate address for another world so we can compare these two different files for pointers. Alright, we're gonna go and fly over to a separate world because, like I said, when it comes to object-oriented languages, things don't always go into memory the exact same time twice. So, we've got the previous memory address in memory, and we're gonna go and try to poke it at, at 0, 02, and if you notice, Mario's life isn't going down. Like I said, because of the object-oriented language, we can't always use the same address that we find in the world. We need to find the pointer. So we're going to go and, again, look for Mario's health, and it's going to be uh, decimal 3, as well as uh, hex 3, and we're going to be in the 8-0 memory range, and weird automatically puts in the safe ranges that we're allowed to play in, and we're going to do a preliminary dump and see if we can find the memory address of, Mar of Mario's health for this specific level. Alright, while well that narrows it down to about 7,296 possible values, so I'm going to go get hurt. Come on. Now we know his health is down to 2, and we'll do this again. We'll do another search. Alright, so we're down to 3 values, so I'm going to assume that this last value here is going to be it, because it was the, it was, that's how it was the last time. I'm just going to make an assumption. We're going to go ahead and poke it. And there's Mario's health. All right, we're gonna bring it back down to two, just to verify. All right, bring it back up to three. And then we're gonna enter this into pointer two. Now, this is the address for the Mario's health in the first level, and this is the second level. This is the binary dump from the first level. I'm gonna do a binary dump of this level. All right, once it actually resumes, you manually have to go and tell it exactly where the files are. It's a little glitch that's in the weird interface that will hopefully be fixed sometime soon. And then hit your search button. And what it's going to do is it's going to manually compare both of these binary files as well as the, the addresses that you specified to actually look for possible pointers as well as their offsets. So we've got a couple of results and a couple of best results. And we'll take a further look into this right now. Alright, I just moved Mario over to a nice safe spot so he can't get hurt and nothing else in the variables can change. And I've already done some poking around previously, and we're going to go ahead and look at this 806B7B40 pointer address. And we're going to copy this. And notice how it has this plus 380. That's telling us the offset. So, it's telling us that Within this memory address, and this pointer and offset, should contain Mario's health. So we're going to go to that memory address. This memory address is leading us to another memory address. So this is the pointer. And this is where the pointer is leading to. And the pointer is leading us to 810B2ED0. So we're going to copy this down, and we're going to load up calculator. Good old calculator. And for those of you who don't know, you can hit the View button and go between Scientific and Standard View. We're going to go into Hex and we're going to paste in using Control V to paste and Control C. Not too, I don't know if too many of you know about those shortcuts. And we're going to add in Hex 380 as the offset. And we're going to come up with this new address of 810B3250. And we're going to Control C to copy this and we're going to go back to the weird interface. I'm going to put this in the memory viewer. Actually, you know what we can do is we can just poke it. Let's just do that. At 48. 